He's a good dog. He's a good dog. <sighs> He's good. He's a good boy. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me. Would you please give me some of your time? When I'm going to hung up, worried. How does it go? I said, excuse me, mister. You got things all wrong. Make me feel... I can't drum. I used to feel the drum. No. Leave it for the horses. Sunday <laughs> morning. <laughs> Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to the uh, video. This is the moment when we don't edit the videos. If you haven't been here before, it's we usually have beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut, I got my buddy Calvin Garcia sitting right here next to me. He lives down in Santa Maria. Address is uh. I don't. I don't. Can't remember it. I'll pull it up for the next video. Mm -hmm. Calvin is getting married soon, and uh, he's going to tell us today about how many genders. There are. Okay. <laughs> Dang it! I couldn't keep a straight face to save my life. It was your idea. No. Yes. Absolutely not. It was your idea. No. It was one of those sarcastic things that someone takes a little too seriously yeah. and puts it in an uncut video. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. I didn't know. Well, I had all kinds of ideas what to talk to you guys about in this video. Because if you watched the last video, I actually recorded that before last week's uncut, like the day before. So I got sick for the uncut. And then for like the last, basically up until yesterday, I was just sick, like being ground into the earth type of sick where I felt like I was dying. And it was a blessing, I will say. And I thought about it that way because it, it's one of those things when, you know, you feel real bad. Like how much better you feel when you you have that to compare to, mm -hmm. like when you're just being pushed into the earth like that, and, and realizing how great it is when you're not having that. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about while I was in that moment. I also did a lot of. Um, I'm gonna pull out a big snake for you to hold, by the way, too. I also did a lot of uh, reflecting back on like early stuff. It was like a lot of fever, you know. I was like having like sweating through mm -hmm. through multiple clothes. Yeah, but I was. Ha I watched. Um, this Metallica documentary that came out a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I grew up listening to Metallica a lot. So like it brought back all these memories. Basically what I'm trying to say is I kept pulling up different types of videos and just crying at each one. Of them. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Whether it was from like nostalgia or from like, like happy, like this is beautiful crying. Like I watched a whole series on YouTube of people like see, meeting, seeing each other again for the first time okay. in a long time. Like, especially the ones with like parents who were at the mil in the military and coming back and their kids are seeing it for the first time. I'm going to start crying about it right so, now. <laughs> so you were reminiscing on old times. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then other stuff, like Leah had her first dance class while I was sick and I couldn't go to it because I was just sick and she came back home and I cried at that. Mm. And I, I just cried a lot. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and I was, <clears throat> I'm still coughing up some phlegm. You're brave to be sitting here. But... Man, we were having a really good time a second ago before we turned this camera on. Yeah. <laughs> like you yeah. were. <laughs> well, <laughs> well yeah, do, I, do I need to bring Dan back in? No, here? no, no. Dirty Dan. Sorry, get the dog. Uh well here, yeah. since you're here, let's let's talk about um right. let's let's well, since you're on the video, I mean well first let's talk about our sponsors. Make sure you guys check out um Freedom Breeder. We got the channel, of course, the YouTube channel. Um Cool, interesting video coming out tomorrow on that channel for this. And then, of course, Morph Market. Um, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, you really should. And the link is down in the description, so you can do that. And there's lots of cool stuff going up on Morph Market every day. I know because I've been looking at it and scrolling through the app, and it's it's really cool it's getting streamlined. It's pretty awesome. But, Calvin. Yes. Calvin, you've been getting into snakes for the last two and a half years or considering breeding for the last couple of years yeah for breeding um it's been about two years is when i kind of decided that i wanted to push for breeding um or at least start the journey kind of thing um but i mean as far as keeping goes i was keeping about two years before that so that's cool. where i started you guys have seen Jan uh, Calvin on the channel a couple times before. But the very first time when I showed up for your graduation and brought a bunch of snakes out, that was awesome, by yeah. the way. I don't think that was the first time. First time was the snake in the parking lot. Mm. Yeah. Oh. D yeah. I still have that snake. It was when you sold me the, the Firefly lesson in the parking lot. And then you pulled out a camera first thing out of the car. Oh, My yeah. Dad yeah, was yeah your dad too. was with you. That's yeah, right. That was, That's right. That was cool. That's right. How did I yeah. space that Sorry. part? It's because... 
You don't love me. That's not true when you freaking know it. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah. this, is a, this is a good kid. Well, this is a good kid right here. If you guys haven't <clears throat> met Calvin yet, are you going to go to the Pomona show? Yes. Be there. You can't miss him because you're going to be standing like way above everybody else. How tall are you? Six. Two? Oh, okay. You look like I'm, you're six five. Well, you well it's boots. the boots, yeah. And then if I wear the hat, the cowboy hat, then it's, it's like probably six. six Are you gonna wear the cowboy hat? Pro- maybe you should. I, I I have before. It'll make it easier to find you because okay, plenty of people that's that are gonna be. I'll, I'll wear it. All right. I'll wear it. Look for the twelve year old cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, I guess we were laughing off camera too. Huh? I'm trying to keep it like educational here. Um, mm-hmm. We're gonna see. Have you held a really big snake before? Yeah. Okay. You, well, you brought. Um, what oh yeah, that's one of the. Beaches. This mm-hmm. is why I record things, Gal. Yeah. This is why I record things. Yeah. This thing stopped working a long Fine. time ago. Oh, we should probably get Hilo out of the way. Hilo, this we're bringing a big be... snake out. Okay. Um, I don't think he cares, but he, he, actually, th- this is the one snake that he sees, and he's like, he's like, get me out of the room, get me okay. out of the room, because okay. I think it's the one that he can tell. Well, let's see, let's see what he does. Oh uh, shoot! Hey, Hilo, it's the big snake. What do you think about the big one? That's the big one, bud. You're not scared anymore? He used to be terrified when this snake would come out and be like, that, what is that? I need out of the room right now. And apparently he's gotten past that. All right, well, if that's the case, we need you to go because I don't want you to get bit in the face by a big snake. Hilo, come on. Hilo. Good boy. All right, Brian's leaving, so I'm going to take the show over for today. No, um, but uh, let's see here. Okay. Kinda, Brian's gonna kill me if I don't keep my face close to this mic. Uh, yeah. But he's gonna try to get the purple albino female out. Oh, here we go. Okay. I just thought it'd be fun to pull out the big snake on the on the table here and remind people to support US Arc so that we can keep on keeping snakes. If you, just in case you forgot. Link down in the description. Go follow up on what's happening with US Arc and um, also come, <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh, come check us out at the Reptile Super Show, which is coming up pretty quick here right after Christmas, um, January 7th and 8th. And come to the US Arc auction and win cool stuff. I'm going to bring all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I got out of breath picking this snake up. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the whole snake on the table. On the table? Oh, she's all wrapped up around my chair. She's about wrapped up on the table. Ah, I love big snakes like this. Calvin, you think you'll ever have a big snake like this? Hopefully. What's the deciding factor? Um, <clears throat> probably at the moment, uh, the space. But I would like to have a few reticulated pythons. <laughs> She's kind of heavy. Um, I would like to have a few back in the collection. Um, I did have to get rid of my one mochino that I had at the moment. It was it was going well until um, my dad saw that I had the mochino, and it was yeah. My my dad used to actually keep. Uh, snakes when he was younger. Uh, he had a few different species, uh, not knowing the size of which they went to until he kind of figured it out. He's He had a carpet python, um, which my mom actually gifted him while they were dating, which was kind of cool. That's <clears throat> your, Wait, wait, wait. Your, so your my, mom my gifted mom, your dad a carpet python? Yeah, she, that's not the only snake she gifted him. She also gifted him uh, an albino Burmese at a certain point. Uh, which was his favorite snake, uh, got up to about, I think he said eight feet. And then my brother was born and he kind of ruined it. Otherwise we'd probably still be keeping snakes, but, um, he had to get rid of it because it it did bust out of its uh, enclosure two times. And as soon as that happened, my mom decided the snakes were a no go anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, because my brother was a little baby, which 
Nothing, not, not a lot's changed with him. <laughs> he wants to run in the family. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. I was we like, should go ba- back to the, to the Dave conversation. Oh, Dave? Which part of uh, Dave and Goliath? Yeah. Dave Kaufman? Or Dave Kaufman. Da- Dave, David and Dave, Dave Kaufman? And Dave Kaufman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. yeah. <clears throat> we we really need to have Dave on camera for that one. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, maybe he'll be at the Pomona show. Hey, Dave, are you? Oh. Gonna, let's let's find out right now. Let's give him a holler. Are we calling Dave? See, yeah, we'll call oh, Dave and we'll shoot. see if he's going to be at the Reptile Super Show or not. And if he's not, then I mean we're going to have to him. chastise him for not going. Uh, she's uh, going. In there. Hey, hey, don't go in there. <sighs> Bring you over here. Come here. Yo, yo, Mister. Well, let me tell you what's going on. I'm, I'm uh, having trouble. I know you're having trouble, Dave. But here's here. I got the solution. Are you are you coming to the Reptile Super Show in Pomona next month? I am not. Oh, you suck. All right, we're gonna have to say goodbye then. See you later, Dave. Bye. Um. Oh, she's uh, she's going to town. <laughs> okay, well, this snake is getting escaped in the racks, so we got to start this video so I get this under. Or we can just. Film well, it. you want to? Okay, here we go. Oh, you got to pay for that angle right there. <laughs> oh, all right, there you go. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh. Hey, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And uh, Calvin, would you like to say anything before we say goodbye? Uh, oh, gosh. Brian needs a better camera stand. <laughs> <laughs>